wait don't buy that diamond ring without hearing these three secret tips when selecting your center diamond it's important to prioritize cut and cut over everything cuts are graded by gia the gemological institute of america and they term or classify cuts into four main categories you have the excellent you have very good you have good and then you have fair and poor excellent cuts this is the top grade as in diamonds with these cuts reflect nearly every single light that hits the diamond that diamond resulting in exceptional brilliance they are very sparkly and have a lot of fire and life very good cuts these diamonds reflect most of the light and are great balance between cost and performance where they are just a bit cheaper compared to excellent cuts good cuts reflect a significant amount of light though not as much as very good and excellent it's a good balance depending on your budget um, fair and poor cuts on the other hand while fair cuts still offer a decent amount of sparkle poor cuts really lose a lot of light when the stone comes into contact with light um, they don't really have a very good visual appeal um, and cost much cheaper um, remember that a well-cut diamond can make a real big difference in your engagement ring or in whatever jewelry you're setting your diamond in you see the whole point of purchasing a diamond is to enjoy that beautiful sparkle that fire that hits your eye when the stone comes into contact with light and and yes i get it you don't want a yellowish stone but the truth of the matter is that color isn't everything a diamond with a perfect color but a poor cut is like a sports car with a dazzling paint job and a weak engine it might look impressive standing still but uh, fails to perform when it matters prioritizing cut ensures your diamond doesn't just look good on paper but truly sparkles in like real life like captivating you know and then the second thing is setting it's important to choose the right setting and mounting it's not something that just holds the stone it practically protects and, and ensures how long your jewelry will last you know putting high quality diamond in the poor setting is like serving a gourmet meal on a paper plate the meal might be exquisite but the presentation diminishes its overall appeal and, and enjoyment just as fine dish deserves a proper place to enhance its appearance and protect its integrity, uh, a beautiful diamond needs a well-crafted setting to showcase its brilliance and longevity. Lastly, prioritize personal significance over fleeting trends. You see, with fine jewelry or engagement rings to be specific, the piece should reflect the wearer's individual style and the couple's unique story. While it's beneficial to be aware of current trends choosing a timeless piece that resonates personally will ensure a lasting satisfaction and sentimental value after all it's your rank why should it tell somebody else's story